Hi, my name is Anthony Barocas. We're here at the Data Video Booth at NAB 2007, and we're going to talk a little bit about the new SE1000. All right, this is basically the, you know, what may seem a fairly sparse interface for a, an SDI switcher. And when I say SDI, it's basically, this will do 1080, 59i, SDI, but with the turn of a button, it'll do 480, 59 standard def, and it will also do 720p uh, high def. It'll do any, any of these, you know, three different formats, US or PAL, and the input has to be SDI. It has an SDI loop through, and we can use that to more effect. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. Uh, it's basically a seven input switcher. One of these inputs is going to be a DVI input from a computer. Uh, right now we've got that assigned to input six. And any of the other seven inputs are all SDI cameras, decks, whatever you need them to be. Um, it has a full frame TPC built in so you can easily punch between the cameras. You can punch between a camera and the computer with no problem. You can do wipes between them back and forth. And there's not any sort of jitter or any problems with that. The other nice thing is you can genlock this, you can genlock the cameras, remove the one frame delay and take it down to one line so you, it makes it more real time than with the, with the delay. Built into the switcher is an aux bus so that if you're doing a program and you need to send uh, an ISO of camera one to a deck and record that separately, you can press the aux bus and assign any of the inputs to the aux outputs. Um, there are two SDI outputs and one component output in the format that you pick, but if you needed more, you could even use the aux to take your program and send your program out all of the aux or your preview or a clean feed so that whatever keys you use are not being sent out of the aux. So I usually use it for the computer output. There is a, a key, you can, you can send in a key input and then use both the source and the fill buttons to easily set what you want the source and the fill to be. And you can either use two, in, two different inputs or you can use the same input for both. Uh, working our way across here, I'm going to do, do right here, you, you know, as I was saying, you can change the different modes. The nice thing about this switcher is that it is a, a seven input switcher. It is only SDI in, but there's a completely separate piece of hardware built into this switcher that enables it to be much more useful than just an SDI switcher. So it's fairly simple. You know, you got your mix, your wipe, uh, you can take. Over here is where you can set your format converter for each channel. You've got six channels. Each channel can be a separate format. Right now we have it set to 480i, standard def, composite video, and that's what we're using up here on our preview monitors. And uh, that's basically, uh, in a nutshell, the SE1000 from Data Video.